Alan up to no good again. Yeah. Check out that garbage fitment. Ooh. Dude, I bought the wrong size wheels. Idiot. Sorry. I did not. We're putting on these gigantic flares on. That's some poke right there. Oh, check on the back. Dang. Got like a good inch or two. Explain yourself. We're gonna have a thousand horsepower in this thing. Dang. This little thing? <laughs> okay. So I want the wider wheels with the wider tires. I'm just gonna handle all that power. So what, these are like authentic rotors? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, they're authentic rotors. <laughs> yeah. So we got the real deal Volks over here. Then we got these fake rotors. Fake? I don't care, whatever. I mean, you know what? They're pretty good quality. Can't really hate. Yeah. But look what I did to them already. So I, I leaned the wheels against the car and it was like really windy. So these things fell right on the face. Face plant. Straight. Oh, there's no more paint. Chipped it right off, huh? You know, this wouldn't have happened if these tires weren't stretched. Oh. Why are yeah. they stretched? Why are they stretched? Well, these came off, these tires came off of my MRS wheels. And I had 205, 50, 15s all around. So I'm gonna reuse these for now. But when I burn these things out, I'm gonna switch over to 225, 45, 15. So it'll, it won't be so stretched anymore. Or maybe I should just take it from the Z. Oh, not the parts car. You can't make that a parts car. What are you doing with these wheels? So apparently they're not 4x100, right? Yeah, which I'm, is what you need. I'm a little upset about that because um, these are on a BMW E30 4 lug and those are 4x100. So it's, and the guy even said they're 4x100, but I, I'm gonna. I think uh, the guy had adapters on, and that's why it didn't fit. So these are 4x114, useless to me. I was gonna rebuild these to fit these flares. And those rotors are going to be temporary too. But so you're doing with these then? I'm going to sell it back to the guy. Uh. Bummer. These are like my dream wheels too. Dang, what's that over there? Uh. <laughs> Man, these would have been sick on the MRT. It's definitely a unique style. Okay, yes. so before anyone asks, go ahead and tell them. Uh, these are wood sports flares. <laughs> it's like the most common question you get. Everybody asks me, man, what flares are those on my old car? So, let's just mock these up real quick. And look, it's perfect too, because I'm going to be cutting out this rust, this dent here. So yeah, so you actually need to cut this. Yeah. Cool. Cutting cars. This was the perfect car to get. Perfect to cut. Oh look, and he's got this little slit here to fit over the side skirts too. Wow, you need bigger wheels now. <laughs> no, it's pretty flush. Once I get the 225 45s on there, it'll be a perfect fit. These are 205s. Here, look at it from the rear. Some RWB style going on here. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? RWB-ish. I think that's the style this is going for. Pretty similar. Well, they're huge flares. Like, look at these flares. These are small. They're very modest. And these are, like, massive. Let's check out the fronts. So these are made specifically for the AW11 chassis. Because like, you see this thing right here? It's gonna fit over right here perfectly. Yeah. So specific flares for this yes. car, not just some random junk. A lot of people use like uh, the Datsun Z flares. On oh, these, they on put these on everything. Yeah, they, they use on everything. It's pretty universal. 
and they look just like that. But well, they are that. They, they are that. But it's, it's for this car. Yeah. And not for other cars, but people still do it. Yeah. And a problem with using the Tui or the Datsun Z flares is it doesn't really fit right. So it kind of like... Well, the arch is like all wrong, right? Yeah, it's wrong. It's like the wrong arch. and It just looks funny to me, so that's why I got these. So where do you get those? It's a guy in the UK, uh, woodsport.org. Have you made the order or does he have them on hand? I think they're made to order, but he gets them out to you pretty fast. And fast shipping too. Okay, we'll put the link down there. Yeah. Oh, and one more part. Uh oh. That would be the lip, huh? This is also from Woodsport. Is that with this or is that separate? It's separate. So you can just get this by itself if you yeah. wanted. So it's a two piece design. Very similar, or exactly how the OEM lip is. And it's basically the same as a MK1B lip, except it's like way bigger. So this will give you an idea. Yeah, see that? Yeah, so this is a Woodsport lip. Does it just, what, how you just drill it in? Yeah, um, so it mounts the same way as the OEM MK1B lip goes on. And it's also- So is that, so use this? No, you, you take this thing out. Oh. And then it just replaces it like that. Oh, it's fiberglass so, though. So oh it man. It's like, it's, it's, okay. it's way more aggressive, much bigger, but I think it still looks kind of OEM-ish, I guess. And don't worry about it being fiberglass. Why? Because I'm going to build a splitter. There's a splitter now? Oh boy. <laughs> Things are happening. Oh, or man. perhaps... I'm spilling all my plans. Well, it will keep the engine a secret. For now. I do have one piece of the engine though. Transmission. Go ahead and talk about that. So that is the E153 which comes out of the MR2 Turbo. And this one is a 93, so it has the better synchros and all that. And it's also an LSD transmission. So I'll be able to handle all the power that I want. I think it, they're good to like up to four or 500 horsepower or something, stock, so. They ain't fine horsepower in this thing? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna push that much. That'd be a little rocket. But I'm just saying. If some, of you, some of you guys know me before this whole YouTube thing, but I had a red a AW11 with these same flares and the black wheels and a Gen 4 3 SGTE swap. And I'm going to be doing a pretty similar build to that, except I want to do it better than the last one. So, people still liked it. Yeah, I think, the, well, a lot of people have been asking me about the car. Like, man, you should build another one or whatever. And they're like wandering up into the car too, so. And I actually really like that car. So that's why I want to build another one. As, yeah. for, the, as for the engine though, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with it yet, but I want something high power. Around 300 horsepower? Should be good. What do you think? 300 horsepower are small numbers these days. Yeah, but in a 2,000 pound car, it's, like, it's gonna be like a rock. Better watch your, better watch out, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and in my my last swap I did, my last AW11, I had the S54 transmission, which is uh, the non-turbo SW20 transmission, and I was always afraid to push that car. Like I thought I was gonna break transmission, break an axle or something. So, and that's why I got this better transmission. So this is the position the flares are going to sit in. There it looks pretty well lined up. And I've already uh, punched where to drill. Using this little thing here. So, so what I'm going to be using to hold the flares in are these. And these are called rib nuts. And you gotta have a rubber gun to put these things in. So first thing we're gonna do is drill into the, the fenders. And this is a 930 seconds. And then these are M5 by 0.8 uh, rib nuts. And I've already done a little test. I drilled a hole here in this wood. And it fits in there perfectly. 
so let's start drilling the fenders. Here we go. Only crazy people drill into their car. Nice. All right, here we go. Do it. That's it. That's it. Easy. The super professional. Dang, there it is. Finally not so weak looking. It's going good so far. Looks like I measured right. Measure once. Measure once, cut twice. <laughs> That's how you do it here. It's more fun that way, isn't it? Yeah. Dang. You wanna keep it white, right? Sure, why not? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Build's done. I mean, that's what a lot of rubber people do, right? Slap on a body kit, don't paint it, all good. Take it out to all the shows. Okay, so this side is on. Nice and sturdy. And then the other side, I've got it all drilled and riveted in. It looks like a professional did this or something. So yeah, those are on. And now I know how much I can cut out of the OEM fender. So basically I'm just gonna follow this line right there and just go right under the rivets. And that'll give me maximum clearance for these wheels and tires. Because if I don't cut it, then it's, it's gonna touch right here already. It's much more obvious with the rears. But for now, I'm gonna put the fender flares on just to get an idea of how it looks. Everything seems to fit pretty good. So I just gotta sand these things down, get it painted. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be taking off these mud flaps too. It just looks funny if I'm on there. Okay, now that the flares are on, what color are you going to paint it? Probably just black. The whole car? No. I meant the car. Oh, the car? So you're doing black flares no yeah, matter what color? The flares will be black. The car? Some kind of variant of blue? I don't know. Okay, should Alan do blue or not? Let, let him know in the comments. <laughs> Bye. Bye.